Did you realize? We, we chiseled about 40 inches out along the sink hill there. And we finally hit pay dirt, which means there's no water between the two subfloors. How did we do that? We took the guard off this cutoff saw, which is really extremely dangerous. Probably like pointing a loaded gun at yourself. Look at that. <coughs> Up with their heads. Look. <coughs> See? You talk about being dangerous. Oh, everything's dangerous in the adult world. Grow up, little boy. So we did that because we have to get right up against here nice and tight in the guard and all that stuff. It just don't work. You just have to be very conscious of yourself. So when they run around and say that I'm on drugs and I'm doing all this stuff, all they're doing is trying to hurt you. I'm not, I'm not on drugs. I couldn't possibly be stupid. All they're doing is saying he's on drugs, so take LSD and stuff when you do that kind of work. Isn't that about what their message is? Exactly. Now how do I get this out of here? That's not really how. I prepped that because I want it flush so it works. It's called a wall bar. I think the brand name is Wonder Bar, but this is made in China where you get three for the set of a Wonder Bar. Stanley Wonder Bar. Let's take it like this and, and look, she come right off. See, I cut them into little squares. See? That one actually came up two squares at a time. Yep, and that's how he does it. Then he goes over and finishes it all up like this. Why do I make these movies? Because I'm celebrating. I'm done. See? I follow this water all the way back to here. And it's finally dry, so I'm happy. Now we gotta buy like a hundred dollars worth of cloth and rovings to fill it back in. Oh god, and that's not counting the epoxy. But we gotta hurry real quick because winter's coming and you don't want any more water in here now because it'll run between the two floors like it was doing before. And up here, they used fairing compound because they didn't do it right. They didn't run that, that roving, the cheapest stuff in the world. They didn't even run any of the roving. And these misbeliefs that there's wood, marine plywood in the floor. <laughs> there is no marine plywood in the floor. We go to war. And look, this is that same crap that I was using. But it doesn't, you know, with the little holes in it. But it doesn't work too good in the floor, but it does work good in the floor. But when this stuff contacts with water, instead of like the fiberglass roving and fiberglass cloth, which doesn't absorb water, this is roving, by the way. Here's a piece of cloth. See the difference? Major. This is very good stuff for when you want something strong. So, and plus it's thick, so it'll build up. I probably got to put 10 freaking layers of that stuff in here to build it all back up again because we're not going to skimp on this crap either. Like they did with the fillers. But there's no marine plywood in here, is there? Do you see any? No? So that was also a uh, fallacy. So let's get cutting here and I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it gets boring but it is it's fun to do actually. You can't cut too deep. You gotta know exactly how far you're cutting. So don't attempt this if you're still like a child in my heart. <coughs> See how easy that was? Now cut across this way. Cut it 
along here. I make a couple more cuts. Again across here. There you go. Ugh. Make sure you wear a mask. Don't be like me. See, wasn't that easy? <laughs> See, this is good off of here. It was right down to the middle. And I don't pry on it, I pull with my arm back. up, I do. But there's no other better way. There's no better way. You tell me about it, would you? Okay, right here I wanted to show you something because I've been digging it up with the chisel. See? This stuff with the holes in it, that felt paper like this, it's right on top of the first layer of the cloth. See this stuff right here. There's only like two layers of this cloth there. And then they started right away with this foam stuff. And right here, so that's what I like about this boat. So I don't know why these people come here and bully me. I don't know what their game is, really. I don't. I guess it's up playing games. Do something besides play games or just kill yourself, really. Anyway, look, you can see, because what I say, at first I thought it was me. No, it's not. That's what they want you to believe. See, that's why they're doing it. They want you to believe it's me, but it was really them that did it, screwed it all up. What they did here is they put fairing compound. See that great fairing compound there? Because it didn't run the roving all the way across the boat. And you look at this stuff, it's called, I think it's 18 ounce roving. Really good stuff. It's, it's really cheap. It's like 12 bucks a 50 foot, 50 inch yard. I mean, really. They were that cheap. They pull this wasted fairing compound, which is probably more expensive than this roving, just to run the roving up all the way. They seem to run the roving only up to this line right here. And that's where the water was running right down that line, that division right there between the roving and this, uh, where they just used this stuff here, right over the freaking, and that's another thing. They weren't supposed to use this probably in a bilge. So yeah, see they used the roving here, but over here, right down this line where the water was running underneath the subfloor, it's all wet. Because, and right here, yeah, like I was trying to tell you, I could punch right through there with the chisel real easy. You don't know what you're doing. You can push right down on that. See it bowing. There's nothing there between that and that. Easy. They'd rather cut like two layers of this and put it in there. They just uh, dump the uh, fairing compound in there. Isn't that something? It's amazing find it amazing, but the fairy compound is holding there. I can't get it off, you can see that. I have to sand it off. But, uh, now I got this fixed, that's the water stopped there, and now the water's starting over here. <laughs> you can't win. Why am I keeping this so straight? Because I want the roving so I cut it in sheets, they're nice and square and they fit in there. You right?
<laughs> Hear that? That's hard, solid. It's got water under it there. Guess what? I think just a little bit. And look, I cut the wheel down. I need another wheel. It's like a one inch wheel now. So put these gloves back on again. Remember, I think they're really five pair for six bucks. Yep, that's why you wear them. You don't listen to those people. Oh, they're jokes. They're really good gloves. So do it one more time. It's so much fun, really. What? And we could have went right through that other part of the floor, remember? why I'm showing you this because don't you try this because you don't know what you're doing and you're going to go right through that floor. Ah. Ah. See? Notice I didn't pry up on it like this because that would push the hammer through the floor. And look how efficient I work. Well, I don't like to watch the rest of your videos on this. You really take forever. You can't you can't chew gum and work at the same time or something. Here's the money maker right here. See, there's that water under here. Take the glove off. Yeah, it's still wet. Damn it. See how this stuff gets all wet? It's carrying the water right through it. Right here, this stuff right here, it's carrying the water. That's a piece that I bought. So, let's get this money shot right here. Still again for water. Still carrying water. Now I'm going to show you the proper way to fix a hole in a boat. Hell yeah! Might as well! <laughs> Alright, I wanted to show you the proper way to fix a hole in the bottom of your boat. See, there's a, a hole. Now that's the best way to fix it right there. Stick your finger in it. Another way to fix it is get some of this stuff right here and just put it right over there. See? There it is. So, I mean, I don't know what that guy's talking about. That boat's fixed. Now we're ready to go sailing. Proper way to fix a hole in the boat. Duct tape. There you go. Thanks for watching.